another story. Let's have a look and see which story is under the story blanket today. This is called A Chair for Baby Bear. It's by Kai Umansky and Chris Fisher. I think Kai Umansky wrote the words and Chris, Chris Fisher drew the pictures. Let's have a look at the blurb on the back. Goldilocks ate up all of Baby Bear's porridge and broke Baby Bear's chair. But what happened after Goldilocks left? Oh, I've always wondered that. Oh, there's Baby Bear there. And there's a big red chair on the front. Let's find out. Oh my goodness me, look at all these chairs. Wow, lots of different kinds. I wonder which one you would choose. Hmm, I really like the look of this cow chair. It looks very comfy. Move this around a wee bit. When are you going to mend my chair, Dad? asked Baby Bear. Soon, Baby Bear, said Father Bear. He said that yesterday, said Baby Bear, and the day before, and the day before that. He's right, dear, said Mother Bear. That naughty Goldilocks broke Baby's chair a very long time ago. And there it is, broken in the corner. Well, all right, said Father Bear. I think we need, we'd better look for a new chair in Bear Town. Hooray, cheered Baby Bear. Can we go now? The three bears set off through the woods. Baby Bear played in the leaves. Look at me, he shouted. I'm Robin Hood. Don't get muddy, said Father Bear. Oh, can I have a Robin Hood chair? Begged Baby Bear. Please, please, please. Hmm, we'll see said Mother Bear. The three bears came to a stream. Look at me, cried Baby Bear. I'm a pirate. Be careful, said Father Bear. You'll get wet. Can I have a pirate chair, begged Baby Bear. Please, please, please. We'll see, said Mother Bear. The road wound its way around the hill. In the distance stood a grand castle. Baby Bear climbed on a rock. I'm the king of the castle, he shouted. Mind you don't fall, said Father Bear. Can I have a king's chair, begged Baby Bear. Please, please, please. We'll see, said Mother Bear. All the way to Bear Town, Baby Bear thought and thought about the kind of chair he wanted. When they reached the chair shop, he ran round and round the revolving doors. <laughs> Stop that at once, cried Father Bear. You'll make yourself sick. In the shop, there were lots and lots and lots of chairs. Look at them all. There's a chair shaped like a foot <laughs> and a frog and a very comfy sheep chair. <laughs> so fluffy. There was a Robin, Robin Hood chair, but it was much too scratchy. That does look a bit scratchy. There was a pirate chair, but it was much too scary. There was a king's chair, but it was much too grand. The cushion was so big and soft that when Baby Bear sat on it, he sank down, down, down. Don't you like any of them? asked Mother Bear. Yes said Baby Bear, but none of them is quite right. Sorry, Baby Bear, said Father Bear. Come on, we'd best be going home. Baby Bear was so disappointed. He was tired too. So Father Bear gave him a piggyback ride all the way home. Oh, that looks comfy, doesn't it? There's their cottage, they're nearly home. What's this, said Mother Bear as they reached the front door. There was a big parcel wrapped in brown paper sitting on the step. Baby Bear didn't feel tired anymore. He ripped off the paper and opened the door and lifted out the most perfect little red bear chair. With it was a note from Goldilocks. Dear Baby Bear, sorry I broke your chair. Love Goldilocks. Baby Bear tried it out. Hooray, cried Baby Bear. It's not too scratchy, it's not too scary, and it's not too grand. In fact, it's just right. Oh, 
and that's the end. It was a lovely story, wasn't it? I hope you enjoyed it. Bye, see you soon.